Hi everyone, do you have a UBA bank account? I have not started using the UBA mobile banking app. I'm going to show you guys how you can start using it as quickly as possible. I'm going to show you guys how you can register on the UBA mobile app and how you can activate the app to start using it on the go. The UBA mobile banking app lets you check your balances, transfer funds, pay bills and manage your account from your smartphone. If you haven't signed up yet, the process is quick and only requires you to provide a few information about yourself. So in this video, I'll walk you through the step by step process on how you can activate sign up or register on the uba mobile marketing app so that i can start using it to carry out every of your transactions so make sure you follow me to the end of this video to get it all and also if this video is helpful to you do well to like subscribe and leave a comment now let's get started now the first step you have to take is to download and install the uba mobile banking app and for you to do that you have to go over to your play store or your app store if you're using an android device go over to your play store while if you're using an iphone or an ios device then go over to your app store now let me go over to my play store since i'm using an android device in this tutorial so let me tap on my play store you can see my play store is opening now it has opened up now the next step now is to tap on the search icon at the bottom right so let me tap on the search icon then let me tap on the search bar at the top you can see it's right there at the top so let me quickly tap on it then what i will do now is to go ahead now to type in uba mobile banking app so let me type it real quick then let me type in um banking then banking app then what i'll do now is to tap on search you can see search at the bottom right so let me tap on search right there guys is the uba app you can see it right there you can see it down there so let me tap on it now so you can see it clearly let me tap on it you can see it more clearly now that's the uba logo you can see the name uba mobile banking so now for me to download and install this what i simply have to do now is to tap on where you can see install you can see it right there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it you can see um they have over 10 million downloads this to show you guys that these people are actually downloading this app and using it and it's working for them so let me go ahead now to tap on install you can see it's right there so let me tap on it so as now you can see it's loading up so in few seconds it's going to start downloading then after that it's going to start installing automatically you can see now it is downloading it is at um 16 percent let's wait it gets to 100 percent then once it's 100 percent it's going to start installing it's downloading real quick so let's just wait for a few seconds you can see guys that started installing wow you can see the uba app is now installed you can see try the routine installed so now the next step now is to go ahead now to open up the uba mobile banking app so let me go ahead now to tap on open you can see open right there on the right so let me tap on it real quick you can see the uba mobile app is opening and it says here allow uba mobile app to send you notifications so let me tap on allow and need notifications you can see it's loading up here is the terms and conditions so what you have to do quickly is to read through all of these terms and conditions of course you're going to get some some information from it after that you tap on agree so let me tap on agree down there let me tap on it then here's the next step it says easy access so let me go ahead now to tap on next let me tap on next it says atm brand finder so let me tap on next payment on the go let me keep tapping on next selfie profile let me tap on next let me see tap on next again well wow, guys you can see now i've been able now to successfully open up the app now if you have a uba account and you want to start using the uba mobile app immediately then you have to register or you have to sign up or you have to activate so now for you to be able to register what you simply have to do now is to tap on where you can see register you can see register right there at the bottom right so let me tap on it right away right here is the next step can see what's written at the top it says register you're signing up with your account that means you're going to be using your uba account to sign up and um like i said for you to be able to use this app you must have had an already existing uba account but in case you've not created a uba account you don't have a uba account i've already made a dedicated video that will show you how you can create a uba account for yourself without going to the bank so what you have to do is to go over to the description of this video you will see a link right there tap on the link they'll be able to watch and learn how you can create a uba account without going to any fiscal bank at all so tap on it you'll be able to learn how to do that so once you have your uba account then what you can simply do now is to register is to register with this app is to activate this app and that's what i want to show you and that's what this video is about so follow me to the end now the next step you have to take now is to select your country there are different countries where you can find the uba bank existing so you have to select your country you can see where the arrow is pointing so let me tap on it now to select my country you can see these are all the countries where you can find the uba bank operating you can see what you have to do to select yours so let me quickly um select my country let me select it real quick so i don't waste 
time i don't want this video to be too long so let me tap on it you can see i've selected my country now the next step you have to take now is to choose the option with which you want to activate um this uba mobile banking app you can see right here we have five options you can use five of these options you can use either of them to activate the uba my banking app you can see the first one right there the first one is use activation code in brackets sme so what i'm going to do now is to tap on it so you get to see it let me tap on it real quick you can see guys um this award is required for you in order to use this option you can see you have to provide your phone number you have to co provide your corporate id then the last thing to provide is your secure pass let me go back now then the second option is debit card the third option is prepaid so let me tap on prepaid card let me tap on it real quick so if you have your prepaid card you can go ahead to use this option to activate the uba mobile banking app you can see what is required your customer your phone number the prepaid card sees digits the last four digits of the prepaid card the client identification the referral id so guys these are what you need so let me go back now i don't want to use this option so let me go back so if you have a prepaid card you can go ahead to use this option to activate the uba mobile banking app let me go back right away then the next one there is account plus secure pass so um let me tap on it now to open it up then right here you're required to input your account number secure pass and also your referral id that's optional actually so let me tap on secure pass so you guys get to know what that secure pass is you can see they say uba secure pass is a one-time generated security code required to authenticate or authorize your transaction it is available as an app so you can actually download the secure pass app so they can be able to get your code after you download it all you have to do is to um, register on the app that you'll be able to get the secure pass code so guys um, let me go back now that's how it works then once you provide all the information you tap on validate account the next option right there is register in branch so um this has to do with in case you don't have a uba bank card if you don't have a debit card you don't have a prepaid card you don't have the secure pass code they can go over to any branch at all around your area to actually um register with the uba mobile banking app so guys um but in this video i want to use um the debit card option because i have the debit card um available with me you can see this is uh let me go over to the debit card right away you can see it's right there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so i can proceed with this video this video is already becoming unnecessarily long so guys now you can see these are the things that are required they say the first one they required is your account number so i have to input my account number right there you have to input your account number as well then they say they need the first six digits so if you get your atm card you will see that you will find a 16 digit right there in front of your atm card so you have to you have to type in the first digit don't type in all the 16 digits only the first six digits of the 16 digit you have to input it right there where the arrow is pointing then the next one that is required they said last four digits so you have to locate the last four digits of that 16 digit so you can see it on the screen being encycled just input that last four digits right there then you're good to go then the last the next one there is expiry date so if you look at the front of your atm card you're going to see the expiry date right there you're going to see the month slash the year for instance if the expiry month is october that means you're going to find 10 right there on the atm card as the month as the expiry month then if the expiry year is 2025 you're going to find 25 right there as the expiry year so you have to type it right there for the expiry date you can see it right there being encycled then the next one is the card pin so you have to impute your card pin the card pin is the four digits pin that you normally use to authenticate transaction whenever you're using your atm card or your debit card so guys what i'm going to do now is to go ahead now to fill all of this then the last one there is referral id that's optional so i'm going to leave that blank so let me go ahead now to fill all of this information right there guys can see i've imputed my account number i've imputed the first six digit and the last four digit and also i've imputed the expiry date the month and year and also i've imputed my card pin the four digit pin so what i have to do now is to go ahead now to tap on where you can see validate you can see down there so let me tap on validate real quick you can see guys it's loading up so guys now you can see um here is the next step it says your uba details are listed below kindly ensure this is your own account then tap next so guys what i have to do now is to cross check my account number and also my phone number to be sure these details are correct once they are correct what i have to do right away now is to tap on where you can see request ver verification code you can see where it is written request verification code so let me quickly tap on it so we can proceed with this video you can see guys it's loading up 
then here's the next step it says a verification code has been sent to your mobile number uba will never ask you to disclose your verification code do not send it to anyone that says down there the verification code we auto field in the field above once you receive it on your registered phone number so what is going to happen is that once the code comes in through my mobile number as sms it's going to be automatically imputed right there once it's detected it's going to be automatically imputed for me so i can go over to the next step automatically so let me just wait for the code let me wait patiently for the code let me wait wow guys you can see the code has been automatically filled i can see the code right there you can see the message from uba and that's the code right there so um as, as you can see it has been automatically filled for me so no need for me to copy the code and i'm already on the next step so guys you can see the next step right there and it says create transaction pin a transaction pin is a four digit pin that you normally use to authenticate transaction to confirm transaction on the uba mobile banking app so it says please set four digit pin so you have to impute and set up your four digit pin right there and it says confirm four digit pin so um if you want to impute your four digit pin you can see um what you need to take note of it says your pin must be four digit pin and they said do not use sequences like one two three four or four three two one or repeat digits like one 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 so you have to take note of that the next one it says create password so you have to create a password if this this password is different from your four digit pin it is different from your transaction pin this password is what you're going to be using to log in or sign in on the uba mobile app so if you open your app now if you open the uba app you will ask to log in with your password so that's the password they are asking you now to provide for them so you have to create your password you have to set your password and you can see right there on the screen the requirements of creating a password one they said it must be 8 to 20 character without spaces include at least one upper letter that means a capital letter the third one they said include at least one number so you can impute the number one two three four five six to nine and the last one they said include at least one special character you can use art you can use the ash symbol the dollar symbol whichever symbol that you want to use then the next one it says confirm your password that means you have to retype your password to confirm it just like you will confirm your forged password up there so let me go ahead now to provide all of these details my forged pin and my password that we use for the login so let me do that so guys now you can see i've imputed my 4gd transaction pin and also i've imputed my password i've created my password so what i need to do now is to tap on where you can see start using mobile banking you can see it down there so let me tap on it right away you can see guys it's loading up wow guys you can see you can see what's written there it says welcome again so now we have successfully logged in and now i just got a notification from uba a message and sms you can see it right there it says dear nazo blessing welcome to you mobile your bank on your mobile so for help you can contact all those informations right there so guys now what i'm going to do now is to go ahead now to tap on where i can see okay so i can successfully log in now so let me tap on okay right away so guys you can see it's loading up wow guys you can see i've successfully activated sign up and registered on the uba mobile bank you can see it right there you can see this is the app the app has opened up and i can see my account balance so i can go ahead now to use all of these features to carry out transaction to do anything that has to do with banking on this mobile app so guys you can see this i can be able to activate sign up or register on the uba mobile banking app and i believe this video was helpful to you if it was please consider liking subscribing and leaving a comment see you in the next upload bye peace